started recording the album um, about this time last year, like uh, like May and June, and I finished recording the album probably in like December. Anybody who listens to Rolling Papers and like um, thinks that it's just different from one or two projects is absolutely right. But if you listen to every project that I created up to this point, then it goes right along with that, you know what I'm saying? Um, my whole career, I've been spreading the sound out and doing different things, and trying to add different elements to my music to get them ready for something as eclectic as, you know, Roman Papers. And, um, you know, it's definitely a, a pop, you know, feel. It's got a rock feel. It's got a, a real hip hop feel. But that's who I am as an artist, you know. I'm not just cushion orange juice. I'm not just cabin fever. I'm all of those things. So I, I really have to fully express that. So later on down the line, if I do want to do an album that's really just focused towards this lane, then people will know that I can still do anything and everything. Um, I think it was just everything, like, just rolled up in one at a time, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just ready for something, doing something fresh. That's what I'm ready I always, I like to change it up, I always change it up, you know, I'm never going to stay the same, and uh, my, my consistencies are going to, you know, it's going to just be down the line, you're not going to be able to see it like this project, that project, that project, you know, I space it out so, so I can last for long, because I'd rather people not get it now and understand it later than, you know, understand everything now and then move on to the next cool thing in the next couple of years. So um, it's just about staying power, you know, and you can't be afraid to, um, to be different and change things up for people to get comfortable. Just um, being the youngest guy in my um, group of friends, everybody say I was kind of wise beyond my years, and Khalif is Arabic for successful leader, and um, my granddad is Muslim in the game. the same on everything, you know, I put uh, a lot of energy, a lot of thought, and always try to take it to the next level, and, you know, not really think about what people expect from me, but really focus on just um, impressing myself, and uh, achieving my own personal goals, you know, and then by doing that, I end up shocking everybody else, so it's cool. Um, it helps. <laughs> definitely, definitely, well, we all came up together, you know what I'm saying? So it was obvious that somebody was going to, you know, uh, be ahead to the movement. But there's definitely more artists to come. I got my artists as well, Chevy Woods, people here more on my mixtapes and albums with me. And, um, you know, it just... It's just good to, to know that we have our own lane now, you know, uh, like seeing Mac, he's really young, but he's living the dream, you know what I'm saying, so I feel like their success is my success too. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, uh, lyricism is important, and, um, you know, what I feel like is most important is individuality. I'm not going to rap like somebody else, nor can somebody else rap like me. So, um, you know, when critics say I have a lack of lyricism or whatever, whatever, um, I just feel like they might not understand that, you know. So I don't try to go towards, you know, or try to impress anybody because in the same breath of there's people who say I like that, there's people saying I'm the best at it. So at the end of the day, I just have to satisfy myself and know that I'm doing what makes me happy, you know what I'm saying? And, Critics are going to talk, and at the end of the day, they, they come around in the end. You know, those people who don't hear it now, five years from now, they'll hear what I was talking about, fully understand it, because maybe they might have gone through it in their own life, or whatever the case may be, but you know, it takes time. You know, I'll be here forever, so it's all good. Um, I think all music will genres, um, you know, there's weed involved, and I think just more rappers 
talk about smoking weed because they can freely, you know, it's more acceptable in the culture. But um, weed is like a, it's a huge umbrella. There's doctors who smoke weed, actors who smoke weed, photographers, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody smokes and that's why it's such a common ground, you know. <laughs> I dope lyrics cause I smoke dope. <laughs> nah, I think, um, you know, just my mind, I try to do what's absolutely most creative at the time. And um, like I said, identifiable to me. Um, I take the feelings that I get from music and try to recreate it. And, you know, I just go for it. It's just more about, you know, people feeling involved and uh, being comfortable being themselves and knowing that it's not hard to be a fan and to look like, walk like, and talk like your favorite, you know, artists or your favorite people. Um, my whole movement is just about positivity and embracing yourself and others around you, so I just fully really just try to make that out there. One most important, they all go together, you know, like my neck represents things, my arms represent things, you know, they all go together and make this the story. But um, you know, I'm still working on it. Um, I think it's really fun and entertaining and it's giving everybody a chance to like express themselves and fully be themselves. And um, not only that, but have fans who feel the same way. You know? Well, me and Currency, we always gonna be able to work on music. That's my homie. You know, um, he's got his situation where he's touring and working on his album and putting his artists out. And I'm doing my thing as well. We both been trying to set up to get to this point right here. So we're always gonna be friends and we'll always be able to record. But we don't rap every time we're around each other. Like sometimes we just wanna chill and just laugh and joke about shit. So when we get ready to do it. I think it's awesome, you know, um, given the fact that Snoop really appreciates it and supports my music too. Um, I've always been a big fan of Snoop, so for people to get the same, you know, vibe and feel for me is an honor. Um, I'm trying to work with Cameron, but he knows that. <laughs> so we're going to make it happen. I'll never do another one of anything. Not the same type of books. I mean, everything is gonna go into other stuff, but you'll never get, you know, that same project, that same product again. Like, I don't believe in that. I mean, just like when I dropped Cabin Fever, you know what I'm saying? That was completely different from Christian Orange yes, Juice. That's right. And, um, you know, people didn't expect it, but it's like, you know, a lot of people, their, their first times hearing or their, their, what they get comfortable hearing, I make that for that. So you can you can enjoy that, but when we move on, it's time to move on. Yeah, just um, know who you are as an artist, and know what you want to get out there to the world. Um, and just be the best at what you do. You know what I'm saying? Other people, if we can do them, but you can only do you. And uh, stay consistent. Ah uh.